okay hello viewers now we will see how to solve an equation by newton raphson method with matlab coding i will try to uh, explain the full code our previous work so we will write clear all then we will write close all then clc if you done any previous work they will be cleared then we have to declare the um, function you have to solve uh, that is uh, that rule is uh, the rule of uh, declaring a function is uh, or equation is f equal to at the rate x okay cause my function is cos x cos x minus 3 into x plus 1 okay then i will write the derivative of this function equal to at the rate x minus sin x minus 3 okay sorry this is the if you will function to be solved and this is the derivative of that function okay now uh, we will uh, write the upper value and the lower value okay upper value is a equal to 0 and the lower value is uh, b equal to 1 and we also take a variable that is x equal to a okay uh, here uh, then uh, we will write a for loop to do the iteration uh, more about 100 times i equal to 1 that is i will start from 1 then i will uh, increase every time each time for 1 and it will go till 100 then uh, this for loop will execute or uh, this for loop will go for 100 time okay that we have to find now x1 that is x of n plus 1 so a for uh, x1 is equal to x minus that we have c before in theoretical part x minus f of f of that is f of x divided by derivative of f of x we can write here a uh, bracket okay we should put into bracket then x equal to x1 so if when we find the x1 then we can see that next root is x1 so i have right here x equal to x1 then the loop is closed end okay so i this loop will turn uh, uh, do the iteration for 100 times we will get the solution that will be x and then we have to find the error and plot the graph so we will keep a variable named sol or solve s o l v e solve then we have to print uh, f print f that is matlab print function f print f 
okay if printf single quotation uh, it approximate root is percent point one if that is a float number obviously uh, comma <coughs> that solve this line will print the uh, solution of that equation and then again we will do the work and find the error so we have to write the previous code so we can copy and paste it easily so we can take this and we can paste it here we have to change something that is a equal to zero b equal to fine okay right we don't uh, okay right then we have to <coughs> we have to make an array in which we will store the error so i have named this error okay that equal to zero okay fine then we can find the error not uh, necessary to find it 100 times we can find it for five times and the array size can be five then we'll do the same work and before ending the loop we have to write that er r o r that is my error array of i equal to that error how to write that error that is x1 x1 minus i have five found the solve here so that solve as well ve that will find the errors okay error i equal to x1 minus solve then we have to plot the graph how to do so how to do so then uh, we can simply write the plot function plot plot error error then we can set something for x level and set something for y level we can write x level single quotation that is number of iteration okay okay mistake in the spelling so run it again and see the solution okay now the t uh, this is uh, uh, this is x level number of iteration and this is y level that is error and this is uh, the title of this uh, graph error versus number of iteration and we see the result at first the uh, error was so high that the error is uh, slow slow and at last the error is zero and the when we find the solution then there is no error okay let's see we can see the result here also the console in the console port uh, here our uh, uh, sorry the first function and the derivative of that function and the approximate root is 0 0.6071 blah 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 okay thank you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you.